We got our pizza dough. We got our pan. Our olive oil. We got our oven heating up. Let's make a bar pizza. I'm actually gonna take, this is my, the dough I made. This is a, a, a batch of actually English muffin dough. Um, so it's got some oil in it. It's got a little bit of sugar. It's gonna make an incredible bar pizza. Now here's the thing with bar pizza. I don't need to make the dough balls. So I'm gonna literally just remove about 200 grams of this. Watch this. Put it on my scale. Oh, look at that. On the money. Um, 200 grams of this dough. I've got some olive oil in my pan here. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Do you see this? Um, and what I'm gonna do is put the dough in here and just let this sit here. It's cold, so I'm gonna let it proof for maybe an hour or two, and then I'm gonna press it out into the pan. Look at this dough here. Um, kind of just put it inside the oil. I'm gonna flip it over. And you can see I've got a nice coating of oil on both sides. And now slowly and methodically, I'm gonna start to push and press this thing out. Um, the oil is gonna help it expand just a bit, but this is gonna be, take a while. I'm not gonna be any type of rush. I might, um, it's gonna take a couple of hours. So I'm gonna, do every, every 20 or 30 minutes, I'm gonna come over here and just like lightly press out this dough. See that? Really nice. I like to use a combination of Fontina and some low moisture moths. I wish I had some cheddar, which would make this ideal, but I don't. I feel pretty good about this dough being all the way pressed to the edge. So what I'm gonna do is press this cheese into the edges here. Get my sauce down. Go a little lighter on the sauce. Spread this around. I know the classic bar pizza is gonna to wanna to have a little cheddar, which I said we don't have. It's okay, I wanna bring the sauce all the way to the edge, if possible. Now I'll take the rest of the cheese, big strands. I've been preheating at 500 for a good hour. I'm gonna place this right on the baking steel. You can see in there, close her up, put a timer on for maybe um, seven or eight minutes. Look at this, huh? It's beautiful. Those edges are frying up nice. We'll um, let that sit for another minute or two, and then what I'm gonna do is peel it out of there, stick that back onto the steel, and finish it off. It's so good. I wanna go around the edges. You can see the blackened edges. So I take a knife and just kind of help, help myself just by kind of trimming it so I can get in there. I'm gonna take these pans into my plant and make them customize them a little bit better than this. The, the, the problem with this pan is that it's hard to, hard to get this thing out of here. So I help it by going around the edge. I do like this, and boom. Isn't that pretty? Um, grab my slicer, center it, boom, and turn, boom, boom, boom. Isn't that beautiful? Now let's showcase it. Back onto this plate. Take some final pictures of it. Isn't that pretty? 